Hi, I'm Joe Show from QFM 96. I do the afternoon show from 3 to 7 on QFM 96 WLVQ here in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, what is my role in fighting Alzheimer's disease? As a fundraiser, it's a great opportunity to gather people together for a common cause. If we can throw some money at this thing and hopefully come up with a cure for this horrible, horrible disease, then we can feel like we've done something. And I urge others to somehow, some way, care enough about this to also throw your money at this, throw your volunteer hours, even, even just by volunteering and helping out the Alzheimer's organization, th then you know you're doing the right thing. Uh, that's why, and that's my role, uh, as an Alzheimer's volunteer and an Alzheimer's fundraiser to somehow, some way, find the answer to, to find a better way to live in, in our final days and hopefully, hopefully, put this terrible disease behind us. We need to get more research and do more projects where we can raise funds so that people will be able to do the research and hopefully someday we'll be able to find a cure for Alzheimer's. Um, if I can't get words out like I used to, um, you know, don't get frustrated. Be and, patient. And, yeah, be patient. <clears throat> don't walk away. Yeah. Don't say, oh, it's all right, I don't care, you know, is what... He feels people say. Yeah. You know, when they don't try to hold out on the conversation because um, he knows what he wants to say. Yeah, and it takes me a little bit longer now. That to get it out. You can still describe things. Mm -hmm. So it's just more patience. And uh, don't shun. You know, we're already finding people, you know, breaking off that used to call or, you know, the invitations, things like that do change. I could say names, but I won't. <laughs> Just a joking. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? I want my Harleys back. He wants me to ride motorcycles. <laughs> so I can ride him on the back. Yeah, Samantha is um, getting, getting my motorcycle license. <laughs> I'm impressed. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go, my kids don't know, but my daughter, my son, and a girlfriend and myself, we're all going to a class. And uh, so we got to go, I think about the 25th to get our temps. And How do you do motorcycle temps? Uh, it's just a written test. It's a book. It's, just, it's, it's a written book. Okay, and then you just drive? And then like I go to uh, a, a paper class, and if they talk, you know, tell you, mm -hmm. and then you go, and they put you on a small motorcycle. And uh, so I thought, you know, I'm retired now, and I'm going to do something. And I was trying to surprise Joe, but my daughter's been so excited about it, they all keep slipping up. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So it's like, cats all the time. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else you want to add? Just enjoy life and uh, make memories. My number one role in um, fighting Alzheimer's disease is to be there and help the caregivers make decisions and future planning. My name is Doris Foltz. I'm a nurse and I take care of uh, Alzheimer's patients. I've done this for about eight and a half years. Um, I give them their medications, I help them with their daily living needs, um, try to redirect them when things are not going so well for them, um, and just try to be their family when their family isn't here with them. I'm Abby Roberts, a licensed social worker for the Alzheimer's Association Central Ohio chapter. My role at the association by Alzheimer's disease consists of many things. One of them is to help provide caregivers and professionals to be able to use our 24-7 helpline, our education outreach, 
are care consultations, which we have in Central Ohio, caregiver and family support groups, med alert and safe return, and also the RData program. Hello, I'm Samantha Black, my husband Joe Black, and um, he has young onset Alzheimer's. He just turned 55, and uh, this has been going on, we're thinking, since about 06. Um, diagnosis came in around 08, and we're just trying to get the word out, um, notify whoever, tell everybody um, about the disease and how it can destroy everything, your wishes, your dreams, and your future. Um, but then again, you turn around and you make good memories and um, you make new memories, which you can do. But um, our goal is to get the notice out there to everybody, awareness um, about the family dynamics, how it can tear families apart, how it takes a whole family, maybe two families, to take care of your loved one. And um, Joe and I are doing a poker run. This is our second. And uh, Joe's daughter did a um, memory walk last year in his honor. And uh, so we've been pretty successful and hoping for a successful year. And um, I guess just um, to help fight against it is stay healthy, stay close, and be aware of what's going on around you. In answering the question, what can we do to fight Alzheimer's? That's a tough question to answer. Uh, what, eat our vegetables, uh, uh, st stop smoking uh, early on in our life, exercise more, uh, breathe cleaner air? I mean, nobody knows what it's gonna take to eradicate this horrible disease. What can we do to fight Alzheimer's? At this time, we need to find answers. We need to help researchers and hospitals uh, we need to give them the money that it takes to find the answers to cure this, this disease. Alzheimer's needs us now to help us in the future by finding an answer and finding a cure to Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm.